News just reaching us is that INEC headquarters in Abuja has been gutted by fire. The fire service has put out the fire. Uh, but our, our correspondent, Amadine Uyi, is underground and brings us up to date. Thank you very much, Amadine, for joining us. Thank you, Felicity. Well, quickly, we're looking at um, films from the scene. What actually happened? Okay, we just got information that the INEC facility was on fire, so we had to uh, rush to the scene. And I'm at the scene, and we discovered that it's one of the adjoining buildings to the main INEC headquarters. If you see, I'm going to just uh, push the Skype so you see videos around. You see that the Federal Fire Service have done a pretty good job in trying to put out the fire. If not for their quick intervention, I don't know what will become of this uh, structure. You can see the roof, you can see office uh, equipment, uh, you can see uh, several uh, files which are on the floor, uh, which have been uh, burnt by the fire. But the, the, the FCT Fire Service was able to put out the fire. Uh, before now, there was so much crowd here. If you turn around to this way, look there, you see smoke still coming from some of the furniture. But like I said, we have to give kudos to the FCT Fire Service because it's uh, from what we see on ground, it was no small fire. Yes, certainly from what we are seeing that you're showing to us, the fire does look extensive. Do you have an idea, the estimate of the... Um, equipment and facilities and furniture that was damaged. This is supposed to be uh, the INEC uh, Media Center. Uh, this is supposed to be the INEC Media Center. If you look from the video, I think almost the end, uh, this wing of the entire building was gutted by fire. We can see burnt air conditioning units. We can see burnt furniture. But for now, the, I think the, those who were working to contain the fire just left here not more than one or two minutes, uh, just left here not more than one or two minutes ago. And so for now, we cannot ascertain. If you see this crew from the uh, fire service, they are trying to take stock of the equipment that was destroyed. So for now, but we, we'll bring you, uh, we'll bring more information as we get uh, details of exactly what was lost during this fire. All right, Amadine, um, thank you very much. But, but before I let you go, um, is there any idea the effect this might likely have on the work that INEC is doing? Are there sensitive documents in that place that you are aware of? From, from what I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of files on the ground. Like I said, this is the commission's media center. Uh, but fortunately, uh, the chairman's office is not uh, within these facilities at the next building, uh, just beside uh, this building. Uh, so for the media center, I believe that some, a lot of documents would have gone, but it is for the INEC officials to come and tell us what exactly was lost within this facility. But I know that the fire within this place was extensive. And like I said, we give kudos to the Federal Fire, to the FCT Fire Service for putting out the fire. Amadin, thank you very much for bringing us up to speed. Stay safe and we will come back to you in subsequent bulletins. Thank you, Felicity.